Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, that hardcore questing pack, mod pack from Gideon Seymour. Today I would like to talk about Gaia's transformation, or the ritual of Gaia's transformation. You'll see here is that ritual set up, and if I look at the map now, I'm in Jungle Biome. There was no Jungle Biome here before, so let's have a look at how we do that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to NEI. So we just bring up NEI, click onto the options here, look at the tools, and then dump a data. And here you've got biomes, and here you have the option to dump. And when you click that, I have to press get out of here now, it says biome IDs dump to biomes, dump slash biomes.csv. And then what I would like to do, or what I did for this one, if you look at the wiki page, and here I've got um, a little bit of text here, which is the first four columns of that. And this tells you that the jungle biome has an ID of 21, has a temperature of 1.2, and humidity of 0.9. Now that is coming from the base of 0.5. So it's 0.5 temperature and 0.5 humidity. So therefore we need to a 0.7 increase in temperature and a 0.4 increase in humidity to get the jungle biome. And looking at the wiki page, it tells you that coal gives you 0.1, a block of coal gives you 0.2, and a bucket of lava gives you 0.4. Adding those together, together will give you a 0.7, which is what you need. And on the humidity side, a block of lapis will give you 0.4. Now the one I'd like to do today is something different. I'd like to do Swampland. So if, let's have a look at Swampland. I'll get the same four columns. It takes me a second to copy and paste this. And I'm using me command because it doesn't do anything nasty. So do look at this one. So Swampland is 0.8 and 0.9. So a block of lapis will give you the humidity 0.9 and a coal and a block of coal will give you the temperature 0.8 from 0.5 so the first thing we need to do is to take this here and cut it down so fly up in this particular case it's quite safe to use the bound pickaxe because there's nothing below but there is a bug the bug is if you right click this, the first block it takes will be the one it stays. So what I'm going to do here is take an empty ritual stone. Oops, I need to activate it first. Click that one and turn on my la signal of magnetism, which I forgot again. Go back and get this block. Now, what I need to do then is to make some space up here. I don't need these. So now, when I right click this, all the blocks will come back as the wrong one. So let me try again. As straightforward, plain ritual stones. We keep repeating this until we've got the whole area picked up. As you see, this, ri this is really cool, this tool. It does actually get everything, and it brings it all into your inventory. So now my entry is a bit full, so I'll make some space. So here I've got an enchanted golden bag of holding, and the recipe for that, by the way, is a standard gold ba golden bag of holding plus two magic woods around it. Uh, let's just put, I don't need these weapon or tools here for the time being. Probably don't need these. And I don't need the scented hive, so let's move those out of the way. I don't even need the, the chest plate in it either, for that matter. So what I want to do is move these out of the way so that we have space to capture the rest of the stuff. Hopefully I haven't dropped anything. We'll find out in a second. So, so that one. See, I'm standing on trees, therefore I'm not falling down. And that one. Oh, I missed a few over here. Let's pick those up. Oh, strange. 
now this time you'll see I've got 13 blocks here which are not plain ritual stones these are actually water ones I think so what I have to do is to put these down and when I put them down they become plain ones doesn't really matter where I put them as long as I put them down two more and this time when I take one of these you'll see this is now a plain one so now when I start right clicking with this it's, it's they're all going to be plain it took me a few, a few minutes to figure that one out right that's everything so what I'd like to do is the same thing over here so let's take these wonderful angel blocks I love these things they're really cool and put say down somewhere it doesn't really matter where just as long as you you've, you're not digging anything up Oops. try that again not try to drown myself there we go okay that will do take that one away so what on top of this actually no not on top of it I will put beside this one the master ritual stone here this is where I want it to be centered on and it will do basically 11, 21 by 21, which basically means 10 out from here. So now we take the Ritual Diviner, which in fact has got the wrong ritual, that's got the Call of Zephyr. So we simply right, shift right click this until we get to the Ritual of Gaia's Transformation. This one. And then we simply right click this. And you'll see that the blocks are counting down as we go along. And when we've done all 116 blocks, it's a lot of blocks. It's also a lot of LP to actually to do the transformation. It costs 1 million LP. So it's really a tier 5 transformation. Try it, you can do it with tier 4, but just you have to watch out you don't kill yourself in the process. Now if I fly over here, I'm actually over the animals. And I don't actually want to transfer, transform those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform it from these blocks onwards. And what you do is you have to, let's take these rich, these bloodstone bricks. I've got, I picked up an egg as well, that's great. Not really, didn't really need an egg. And let's say, I think here, Yes, this looks like a sensible place. So let's put that down here like this and go along. Looks right. So it's the area contained within this that becomes swampland. So let's say I want to maximize it. So we go up to here, I think, so the actual full range. And it has to be this this pattern has to be one block above the master ritual stone so basically it's fairly straightforward so I'm surprised about oh well, mister again the mind we can soon fix that remember to left click this the big problem with that bam pickaxe is the key combination right click I think to do the 11 by 11 is too dangerous it would be much better if it, they did it with shave shift left click or something like that can I get that one? Yes. Am I in the right place? Yes, just about. So then we just basically have to fill this in. It's a bit tedious, but... We stand on it, and then we could probably do shift right click backwards, um, shift S. Huh? We get to the other edge. So I've got a bit to go. One more. And so that's basically what we do. Walk along here. Let's put a few more down here. In fact, I probably could do a few from here. It's actually the bit that takes most of the time setting up the frame. If I don't put up a frame, it'll do the maximum area by default, which is okay too, for most cases. 
in this particular case I want to demonstrate it. We can reach that, you should be able to. Oh, let's just fly, it's probably faster in this case. Oops. Well, it would be if I didn't put the blocks in the wrong bit. There we go. One there, one there. As you might not have enough bloodstone bricks for this, we'll find out. I've only got th three left. I've another 60, I've got 20 left, that sh may be enough. If not, we'll have to make some more. Should be able to reach that one. Yes, just. Right, so that's the boundary set up. Now I have to put down the, the plinth, the arcane plinth. These are the upgraded version of the, the pedestal. On the recipe for that, by the way, in case you. Oops, let's try that again. It's one pedestal surrounded by blocks of iron, or not surrounded, but with blocks of iron at top and above. So we then put these down. So we have to basically put these down and all around it, like a chest formation. Like that. And on these, we then put the ingredients. Now, I need to go and get the ingredients because I haven't got them yet. So let's do that next. In this chest, oh yes, you'll see my enhanced mob spawner. What I did is actually got the transformation, uh, no, the ritual of regeneration and, which I put on the bottom, and two spaces above it, I put the well of suffering. So I've got a block of coal in here and one coal that gives me my point three now i need some lapis lazuli and the best way to do that is with this boy the signal of the green grove so i've got a few actually I've got quite a lot of rain plant seeds here let's just make sure i've got my signal of magnetism turned off because i usually have problems with that i was forgetting to leave it leave it on leave it off so let's just hit these and they will plant themselves to some extent. When they're finished, we simply turn on the sigil, collect the rest, and then we can turn that off again. And then we can simply double click these, right, do right clicks on each one. And then break them again. And they quite often plant themselves. In fact, I've got enough. And there's six planted, so that's fine. So what we'll now do is we'll make some lapis lazuli from those. By simple as that. Self-crafting. Come along to my chest here and my crafting station. Make a block. Lapis lazuli. And let's go back again. Now this should be take the divination signal and make sure that we have plenty of LP. I don't know why that's... Oh, look at this. <laughs> well, well. I just have to deal with a few mobs. Excuse me. Lots of mobs, actually. My goodness. I wasn't away very long. The worst one's the creepers. I don't want them blowing up under this thing here. Oops. Well, you've dropped down to death. That was good. I didn't, shouldn't have done this at night, should I? <clears throat> There's a lesson for you. Well, 
want to. <laughs> Is that a skeleton riding a, a, sp a spider? Brilliant. Right. Oh, some more creepers spawning as just as quickly as I'm getting in them. That's not good. Why are they spawning so fast? As long as they get rid of the creepers, I don't really care. The others we can get deal with. They will fall to their deaths, actually. Right. These will be a bit harder to kill. Right, let's, let's land on here. Let's get my bound blade into action. It's activated. Good. Right. That's a bit of a faff. I don't have a few mobs below. Never mind. It might even be possible to sleep. But for the timing, let's get on with this exercise. One block of lapis lazuli. Let's get the block of coal. One block of coal. And one coal. That's it. So now we simply activate it. We've checked the LP already. And get out of the way. Watch the fireworks. Might even be able to stand in the corner here, I think. And they should have taken the items, which they have. Now, what we have to do, of course, is kill a few mobs before we go and do anything else. It's now daytime, so that helps a bit. We just have to get rid of these spiders. And, of course, that lovely skeleton. Oops, missed. Oh, that was weird. Shot the tree any. Right. I think there's another spider around about here. Yes, there is. But it's daytime, so he's not, uh, he's not aggr aggravated by me at the moment. So let's have a look. I thought so we got. We should have another. You'll see some wolves down here as well. Oh yes, we got another zombie. Let's get rid of him. And a spider. We're oh, angry, I'm a zombie. Right, now. What we have to do now is to disconnect. I just put this landmark here to give me a point I want to start from. Oh, this XP. It might have been that they got also got attacked by the wolves, but maybe not. Well, it comes with the wolves later on. We need to do this. What I should do is also remove this block. But first of all, let's just prove we're actually in the right biome. So let's go to the map. Forest Hills. Okay, now we have to disconnect. And then join the game again. And then have a look at the map. Swampland. Perfect. So, it's worked. And you'll see that the colour of the ground has also changed to the, the dark brown of swampland. Oh, we've got another. I didn't get rid of him, did I? Oh, yeah, this time, though. It helps putting it against uh, some cactus. Right, I shall now quickly remove this lot in case we get another night time. And I'll do the same thing as we did last time. I've probably got too much junk of me now as well. I probably need to get rid of some of this. What we'll do at the moment for the temporary, we'll put this into the golden bag of holding. Make sure that we've got anything that's not wanted in the golden bag of holding. And then come back and get rid of it later on. Okay, that should be fine. I don't need the ritual stone either. I sort that. I don't want the angel blocks now. So the first thing we do is we just to remind you is to take that one of those, and then we can simply right click here. I should have got a bit nearer. Now let's have a look at what we've got in our possession. 
I've got 33 on one plinth, that's fine. Maybe here? 57. Let's just do... Mm -hmm. How am I going to do the next few? Let's just do this. Plate. Now I've got a 9. I picked down 9, which is okay. Not too many. Let's put these 9 down. And there we go back again. Just take one of these and right click away again. And that should be everything. And you'll see just the very edge of this was turned to swamp plant because it was on the border of the um, of the boundary. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this sort of experimental type one. The next thing I'm going to do is to make some owl, tamed owls. And that's what all this is about. So until then, bye for now.